So 2020 proved to be incredibly difficult to get new hardware, specifically GPUs. I'm going to tell you that 2021 may not really be all that much better, and here are the main reasons why. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to smash that like button. Some say it may improve your chance of getting the GPU by as much as 300%, but not guaranteed. All right, so let's talk about the GPUs in 2021. Of course, we all know about the launches in 2020. Very popular GPUs from both NVIDIA as well as AMD. Now, we're going to talk about 2021. How does it look sort of starting the new year right now? Happy New Year to everybody, by the way. We're going to see, is it going to get any better if you're looking for a GPU, let's say you walk into a store or you go on Newegg or Amazon, are your chances going to improve at all? Well, here are a few main reasons why I think we're still going to have a very tough time. So, number one, demand still continues to be at an all-time high. People are still staying home, and it looks like all of the stay-at-home measures that we had last year have continued into this year, at least until everything improves in terms of our global situation. So, that's not going to change. People are home. They want to build computers, even little things like office chairs and office desks have been a lot more sold out than they ever were in the past. GPUs are just a lot more in the news and in the headlines, but a lot of things are actually in very high demand. And because of that, I still think, at least for the first and second quarters of 2021, any difficulties you experience getting a GPU in 2020 surely will continue without a drastic change. I still think, at least for the first two quarters, because of all these reasons, people staying at home, high demand, it's certainly going to stay that way. And what's the second major reason why GPU availability may be a little bit troubled? Well, believe it or not, and this isn't something we talk about much on the channel, but I've been sort of seeing different news headlines, and that's going to be cryptocurrency mining, specifically things like Ethereum, which still do depend on GPUs. There have even been some pictures posted lately, like some miners had as many as like 78 GPUs in one rig. So if you can imagine how many GPUs certain miners have, and then spread it out by the amount of people actually mining cryptocurrency, not to mention that a lot of these cryptocurrencies are at a very all-time high. Therefore, people will go out of their way to get these GPUs. They're much more affordable to get a gaming GPU. That's certainly putting a really big dent in the gamer market. So if you're a gamer and you just want a single 3080 and you walk into your micro center or go to Newegg or Amazon, this certainly is a reason why you're going to have a harder time getting your hand on these GPUs. Now, of course, it just logically makes sense. Let's say if one mining farm has these, you know, 78 GPUs that are just as good for gaming, that's certainly 78 different people that were not able to get these GPUs. And us as gamers and enthusiasts, we view these products completely differently than somebody who's a miner does. They pretty much just care about the efficiency and the profit that they're going to get, sort of what that GPU can do for them. While as a gamer and enthusiast, we really almost develop a little bit of a friendship with our GPUs. We even care about the box, the RGB implementation, we overclock it, we download different things, we try different games on it. So we definitely have a much closer relationship to our GPUs. Now, it doesn't mean that we're any more entitled to it than maybe a miner getting 78 of them, but it just seems to me that if gamers can't get their hands on an adequate supply of GPUs, the miners also should have the same issue. And I'm sure miners are also having a difficult time getting a lot of these GPUs. Of course, they need many more than just one, so for them it's going to be an entirely different different situation. But in 2021, I think especially with cryptocurrency prices staying high and people having an incentive to mine it and to get GPUs, I think this is going to continue to play a role in the shortage of GPUs for gamers. And we're not even going to talk about the specific GPU companies selling directly to miners and things of that nature. That's a topic maybe for a different channel. I don't really want to get into that. I really focus more on GPUs for gaming and as an enthusiast, but I just thought this is definitely an important item to be aware of as we go into 2021 and cryptocurrency prices stay elevated the way that they are. And what's another reason why you may have difficulty getting a GPU in 2021? Well, even look at NVIDIA. They're using Samsung to manufacture their GPUs, their nodes. They definitely have had a problem keeping up with the insane amount of demand for these GPUs. And I don't think this is something they're going to change quickly. I'm sure they're ramping up, trying to get more production on their way. But this is something that's going to take months and months and maybe even a year or two 
before they really can scale up to meet the demand that exists today. Now, is the demand going to continue? Of course, after a lot of people get their GPUs, it surely will die down, especially as more stock is replenished. But at least I think for the first two to three quarters of 2021, the demand should stay very high, very insatiable. And I still think maybe on the manufacturing side, it's still going to be a bit of a bottleneck there. They can only put out so many GPUs, regardless if they're sending them out to individual gamers, to miners, or to like, you know, custom built computers. They're really going to be bottlenecked by as many as they can manufacture. So I'm sure if they can make more to meet demand, they're just going to make more money. So that's definitely something that they would do. But for now, in the meantime, I still think we're going to be restricted by the manufacturing capabilities. This will be both on Nvidia side as well as AMD side. Now, we did think before that AMD maybe would have had a little bit easier time manufacturing their GPUs. I mean, it has regular GDDR6 VRAM instead of the X variant that's found on the Nvidia GPUs. And it's also using a more common process, but that proved to not be true at all. And AMD has had as many stock issues as Nvidia has, arguably maybe even a little bit more. For example, their third party AIB cards for the 6800 and the 6800 XT were pretty much nowhere to be found and they still remain extremely difficult to find. So both companies, fair to say, are definitely having issues. All of this really is getting scaled up with the amount of demand that's out there. So partly you can't really blame them. I really think they are trying to scale up as fast as possible. It's just something done on such a massive scale that it certainly takes a little bit of time to accomplish. And if we're being optimistic, how does the GPU situation look now if you really, really want a GPU? Well, of course, some people have been getting them. I actually just walked into my micro center. They had a 3090 today. Um, they said they've been getting stock fairly regularly, almost daily, or at least a few times a week. So if you're there early enough and you happen to be one of the lucky few that live near a micro center, and I know worldwide people don't have this, and a lot of people in the States are not going to have a micro center near them, but for the people that do, it is is an option. Also, once again, the EVGA Q system. A lot of you have been on that Q system for quite a while, but just wait. Eventually, you will get that email. I got my EVGA GPU from them. I had to wait around five weeks, but it's going to depend on the exact GPU that you wanted. Mine was a 4013 3090, which I think at the time they maybe were producing, or maybe the demand was a little bit lower than like a 3080 or 3070. So I was able to get it in a relatively quick time of around five weeks, but I know some people have been waiting for over two months. So it's going to depend on the exact model, but at least know that eventually when EVGA gets stock, you will get your email. So it may take a little while longer, but at least you have some idea that you have a fighting chance. Otherwise, just keep checking Newegg and Best Buy and things like that. Stocking has definitely been a little bit sporadic. You have to sort of, you know, maybe follow Discord servers or get into different forums or learn the restocking times that are more likely to happen. That way you may get lucky and pick one of these up. But in general, buying a GPU, even now early 2021 still is a very frustrating endeavor for most people it may even seem outright impossible but there are certainly ways to do it and to get them at msrp you also you have to dedicate not only time but also learning knowledge you know like i mentioned maybe different servers maybe finding times that these gpus are going to drop so you have a better chance at getting them from like new egg or something like that so it's certainly not easy but it is possible and i know a lot of my viewers have been able to get gpus but of course the vast amount of people have not been able to get their hands on them. And of course, if you can't get a newer GPU from Nvidia or AMD, what are you stuck with? Can you even get a 20 series GPU anymore? Is it worth it? Well, if you go on the used market, these are very, very expensive. Not only because the people that can't get a 3000 series GPU or an AMD RX 6000, they're holding on to their 2080s, their 2080 Ti's. They're not really letting go of them. So that means there's going to be less of them on the market and the asking prices are going to stay high. I know when the RTX 3000 was first announced, there was that running joke that people would sort of trip over themselves to sell their 2080 Ti for $500. And while that seemed true for maybe about a week, as soon as people saw that the 3080 was pretty much non-existent and very difficult to find, I think people held on to their 2080 Ti's much more and thus they're going for inflated prices now. So I would definitely avoid getting an overpriced 20 series GPU. I mean, if you search hard enough and you do find one that's reasonably priced, maybe somebody did get a newer GPU 
and they just want to get rid of it, then I think it's okay. You could always resell it later on when eventually you can upgrade, but certainly avoid overpaying. So as soon as the new GPUs have better stock, maybe at the end of the year, you're definitely going to see the prices start to go down a lot more than we've seen so far. And of course, the same holds true for paying really inflated or scalper prices for these GPUs. Better not to encourage people to go out and buy these type of GPUs. Although it is kind of funny that the 3090 specifically, sometimes if you look on like the used market or people that thought they were going to make a profit on it, they end up selling it for almost MSRP. That's because the 3090 is already such an expensive GPU that it really doesn't have that great of a price to performance to value proposition. So it makes it a lot harder to scalp them. While the 3080 and 3070 have really good price to performance propositions. So I think some people feel like it's justified to spend a little bit more. They have a little bit more wiggle room while the 3090, especially if it's not a particularly cool 3090 from a manufacturer somebody really wants, typically isn't going for too much more than MSRP. But once again, not everybody's going to have the budget or want to buy a 3090 because at the end of the day, it really doesn't represent that good of a price to performance. So your sweet spot really is around that 3070, 3080, and maybe like a 6800 XT or something like that if you're going to go on the AMD side. So to summarize, while nothing's really changed, especially on the Nvidia side, you have had a little bit more frequent restocking. It's just that the demand does seem to be fairly high. So those GPUs usually get sold out very quickly, but it still doesn't make it easy for you to buy an Nvidia GPU. And it's even harder to buy an AMD GPU at this point because they haven't been restocking as readily. So hopefully by the end of 2021, the situation certainly improves itself. But I think at least for the first two or three quarters of 2021, we're going to see a lot of high demand, low availability, as well as possibly potentially in the future, prices increasing, not only from the used markets, but also even from the manufacturers themselves if the demand stays this high. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe if you like content like this, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.